seventy nine thousand five hundred and forty pounds not to sixty two miles an hour in four point three seconds one hundred and ninety three miles an hour this gt3 is the 911 for people who love driving in simple terms it's a rear wheel drive 911 with big power and little weight but the devil is in the detail the oily bits in the engine have been lightened so it revs more freely the rear spoiler can be adjusted and this little lip gives you more downforce without increasing drag. At the front, vents send cooling air to the brakes, while this lets hot air escape from the radiator. And if you're handy with a spanner, then the suspension is fully adjustable. Then we come to the tyres, specially designed with minimal tread, so they act like grippy racing slicks in the dry. In the wet, there's a small disclaimer from Porsche that says that they're more likely to aquaplane. Not nice. Normally, you turn a blind eye to a small blip like that because Porsche's GT badge is given to cars that will spend most of their lives on the track. But this GT3 is different. It's been primarily designed for the road. And indeed, this is a surprisingly comfortable car. Putting the suspension into normal mode doesn't make the ride completely smooth, but it's perfectly easy to live with. We're at Cadwell Park, as 74% of owners will apparently go on a track day. So, how does it fare? Let's find out. It really does feel as much like a racing car as I could ever really imagine. Now, because there's no weight in the front end of this car, you do suffer a bit from understeer. So when you turn in, it just washes out on the front and you have to wait and sort of bide your time until the traction comes back again at the front end. And then you can unleash all that 415 bhp. Third gear, fourth gear. It's just never ending. Porsche say this is the perfect car that bridges the gap from road to track and they're not wrong. It's the first GT3 to come with traction control and with optional extras like sat nav and heated leather seats it's as well suited to cruising as it is to leaping.